Traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing this week. And what a Thursday it was. Uh, very, very nice day today. Uh, we did get a very, very nice retest gap today. Let's take a look. SPY, white candle gapping up. We retested the 100 simple on the daily. So from here, if we take a look at the E-minis, we are currently up slightly higher than the previous day after hours. Um, we really, we realistically need to break above these highs and hopefully retest and break out of here and hopefully go higher. Uh, markets don't look super bearish at the moment. The volatility is going away. If I just type in the VIX here, you can see volatility is slowly, slowly dropping off, which is a good sign. Um, I hope a lot of the option sellers are taking advantage of this of, of this volatility and getting some really nice premiums. Take a look at the Dow Jones. Here's the DIA, and we did close above the 100 on the daily. Uh, from here, I do expect us to probably continue, but realistically, we also need to break above these highs and retest and break out of here. Speaking of volatility, uh, if you are looking for a hedge against the market, I know there's a lot of talk about recessions right now. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen just yet. However, UVXY, a very good tool. It is all about timing. This is not something you want to be holding long term. But as you can see, when the market goes down, uh, which happened obviously back here in October, uh, UVXY, which is a leveraged ETF, guys. Um, so just be very, very cautious with this. It does come down to timing. However, UVXY is a great tool to hedge against all your portfolio if you don't want to buy put options on each particular position that you own. So keep that in mind, UVXY, as you can see right now, volatility is dropping. And obviously with the market slowly just chopping around and hopefully moving higher, we should see UVXY go lower. Let's take a look at Autodesk. Now, if you watched my last review, you would have known exactly what to do at market open. I did say that we would get a quick flash lower um, on this day here. And then I said that most likely it would be a buy the dip opportunity off 32. If we take a look at the five minutes, I'll just zoom back into this day right here. Uh, right here. You can see here, here was the quick flash lower. We had this very nice support level right here, pre-market. We had the quick, quick flash lower, beautiful morning star reversal and nice little double bottom S curve rotation. And you can see 132 right here was the time to buy and go long. So if you did take that analysis and go long on that day trade, I commend you very well, very well. Here's BBY, beautiful gap and go today. Uh, we did get a white candle gapping down and we did gap right below, not only below the, the 200 on the daily, but we did gap below this low here. If you take a look at the one minute, you really could have played this on the one minute, guys. Um, if you see, I'll zoom right in here, right in here. Alrighty, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we did have this glorious support level right here, but take a look at this one minute candle. Entry below here, stop above here, and there you go. That would have been an easy two to three hour trade. If you did get to take that trade today on BBY, was a beautiful setup and uh, definitely was some gainage to be made on BBY. Take a look at Shopify. Shopify, the gift that just keeps on giving but is slowly pulling back. Take a look at the weekly chart, guys. We are hitting our head at the 400 level, which is a pretty key level for most people to start taking profits. We are getting super extended, guys. I don't know how long this is going to go until we start pulling back. 
However, 400 seems like a pretty good place to pull back. Um, on the daily chart, we have got two fairly bearish candles with very nice volume. So is this the point where Shopify kind of crumbles lower and then slowly has a nice bounce off the 100 around here? I hope so. I really, really do hope so. I have been waiting for this for a very long time. Um, but Shopify, beautiful bullish trend. If you are in long term, probably just keep holding and look to sell some out of the money covered calls and maybe get into a beautiful collar position. Here's AMAT, ticker symbol A-M-A-T. And right now, I did say that we were building some pressure the other day around here and we are gapping up. So right now, if we can break above these highs, just look to buy the dip, but I do expect AMAT to slowly, slowly grind higher. And from there, if we take a look at the weekly chart, we are at the 100 simple moving average on the weekly. So AMAT does look good to keep going bullish. And here is NTAP. NTAP with a beautiful pullback. We have pulled back from the highs in 2018, pretty much 50%. And right now, as we speak, we are at this very nice support resistance level, just based off these highs here and these resistance levels here and that support level there. So if you, if you do own NTAP, now is a very nice time to well, if you don't own NTAP, now is probably a very nice dip buying opportunity. If you do own NTAP, just keep your eyes peeled here. We are coiling for a bounce. You can see on the weekly chart right now, we have got a one white soldier candle. We did gap up and we are closing above the high of the previous week. So NTAP does look good. We did almost come down to the 100 on the monthly chart. So this is a very nice pullback, very healthy pullback for NTAP. Here's Capri and Capri is just almost back down to its IPO low. Um, Capri being the old Michael Kors from here, guys. I mean, I realistically, I do hope that we start to bounce here. Uh, but if we do, if you are looking for a buying location, you could look to buy from the IPO low levels um, as this is most likely a nice little ABC formation. So from here, I'd probably expect us to slowly start to grind higher, but definitely keep your eyes peeled on Capri uh, to start building up some volume as we come down to about $24. Here's Urban, uh, Urban Outfitters, ticker symbol URBN. And we have been getting some nice volume coming in the last couple of weeks. Uh, from here, we have got the 100 simple moving average in the way and we are still at this nice little resistance level here. If we do, however, break above here, next target would be the 200 on the daily, which is at 28.69. Um, not super bullish on this stock right now. However, if you are looking for a long-term buying location, this does look like a very nice level two buy long term as you can see here in this green box. So on the monthly chart, we do have a glorious, glorious hammer candle forming right now. So any break above any break above these highs, I would look to play this thing bullish. Let's take a look at the all lords, the Aussie markets. And on the daily chart, finally getting a nice bounce. A lot of people freaking out. Um, back here because we closed below the 100. However, this is just a very nice head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders pattern. Um, and from here, I do expect us to start to bounce. The overall markets do look bullish despite all the news that has been going on. Um, but the All Lords getting some nice, nice uh, volume coming in and we do look to go higher. Let's take a look at CBA. And this was just a glorious double bottom. And right now we are closing above the 100. I did say back here, if you're looking to go long, here was the time to buy off the 200 on the daily chart. So if you did take that opportunity to buy CBA, then well done to you. 
Here is BHP, another beautiful Morningstar reversal pattern back here. If you take a look at the weekly chart, um, this was just a very, very nice, I'll just draw a nice pullback. If, you, if I just draw this wave pattern here, we did have the nice Elliott wave um, five count, uh, the five wave count here. Um, so from here, guys, I do expect us probably to chop around sideways for a little while. Probably something like this. Um, I don't expect us to go super bullish. I do expect us to, however, um, come back up to these highs and probably just chop around and consolidate at these levels. Just have a nice little just distribution pattern as we have been bullish for quite uh, quite a number of years. Uh, here's Qantas. And here is Qantas. So I actually spoke about Qantas back here, saying if you're looking for a buying opportunity, here is the time to buy. Uh, with a target up of about 572. If you did take that trade and you are still in, then well done. Um, from here, guys, I do think that we will uh, come back up to the highs in 2008, which is 645. We did break out of these this little triple top here and we did come back down and retest. So I do expect us probably to slowly grind higher a wow, let's take a look at Woolworths. And we did get some beautiful volume after their really killer earnings that they had just yesterday. And um, I mean, from here, if we take a look at the weekly chart, we're almost at the all time highs again. So, I mean, it's been a very long time back since 2014. So, I mean, from here, this really realistically is just going to be a point where we will end up consolidating sideways up here for a little while. Let these moving averages come in. Um, Woolworths doing some very great things, bringing in some little products for the little kids to help their profits and help spending and promote spending in their stores. Um, but uh, if you did take my, uh, my recommendation back here to buy the dip on Woolworths, then well done to you guys. Here's zero, ticker symbol XRO. And right now we are just consolidating on the daily chart. And I did say that this was going to happen. Um, so from here, guys, just look to buy low, sell high. This is pretty much a one, two, three, four, five wave count. So I do expect us probably to chop around here sideways for a little bit longer. But long term, if you are looking for a solid stock, solid company, zero is a great company to hold long term. Here's App Unlimited. Uh, if you don't know, they do artificial intelligence. Just, this was a beautiful pullback right here. If you did um, get to take the, the advice of selling up here from my last reviews, then well done. This is a beautiful pullback. So if you are looking to go long, long term, um, this is a very good buying location. From here, I do expect us to probably create some higher lows. Um, and then slowly grind higher. Take a look at Santos. Now Santos is very slowly but surely breaking out of this uh, upper trend line here. If I just take a look at the weekly chart, what's, what's interesting about this is we have a very nice cup and handle right here. So from here, guys, I do expect us probably to trade higher. Um, it is just a matter of time with oil. Speaking of oil, here's crude. And take a look at the daily chart. And right now we are slowly, slowly breaking out of this trend line as I've been expecting for the last couple of weeks. I have been talking about it. Um, from here, we really need a, 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 a bit more of a solid close. Um, but I do expect us to trade at least up to 57 maybe even 58 back up to the highs of June. That would be a very nice move for oil. And let's take a look at gold and gold. If you did have this as a resistance on your chart, my 1549, you would have pretty much hit the nail on the head right here and here. Um, this was a very, very nice selling location. And uh, if you did look to either sell short or just take some profits off the table, then well done to you fine folks. 
And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. And we should be crumbling lower. And we are. Um, this has been expected for quite some time. And pretty much, guys, don't be super bullish on the Aussie dollar. If you are looking, just look to short the highs as high as possible, obviously, if you are a Forex trader. Um, but I do have a target of 63.666, which is the lows of 2009. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another real life stock review. And remember to love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.